In 1821, a pretty smart German physicist discovered that when you join two different conductive metals together, and a temperature difference exists between the joints, that a current could be observed. Give that man a hat. The thermocouple itself is made by welding two dissimilar metal wires together, which form the point of measurement. The wires are then insulated from each other along their lengths, and terminated with a connector, for connection to a meter, or in our case, a handheld thermometer. As the two metals in the thermocouple are heated or cooled, they produce a very small but measurable voltage. If we imagine this voltage on an analog meter, we would see a negative voltage and movement to the left if a point of measurement is exposed to something cold. And conversely, we would see a positive voltage and movement to the right if a point of measurement is exposed to something hot. The thermometer effectively measures this voltage, performs a quick calculation to correct for ambient temperature, and then uses a lookup table to determine the actual temperature at the point of measurement, which it then displays digitally for us to read. Thermocouples are very fast to react to changes in temperature, so when speed and accuracy are required, they are ideal. They can be fashioned into many different designs of probe, and you can check out the full range on the Comark website.